Hello everyone. This session is going to cover the voltage drop topic, interpreting its causes, why it is important to consider it when designing a project, and also we will understand how to mitigate its amount using different techniques and by going through some examples. First, let's define a voltage drop. It is the total amount of voltage loss that happens through all or part of an electric circuit due to impedance and other related factors. Looking at this diagram, we can tell that this is a low voltage system single line diagram. The secondary side of this transformer gives us 400 volts. Then this 400 volts is distributed throughout the entire system to reach different devices and equipment that can include motors, computers, lights, and other appliances. However, the 400 volts will go through obstacles or what we call impedance or resistance that will cause a drop or a loss in the voltage when it reaches its destination or what we call the branch final circuit. So far, we understood that the resistance increases the voltage drop level. Now let's understand more about the main factors that increases the resistance and affect the voltage drop levels. First important factor is the conductor that could be a cable or a bus bar. First, the type of conductor can affect the voltage drop level. That is because copper has lower resistivity than aluminum so this will result in affecting the voltage drop level depending on the material of a cable or a bus bar is used. Also, diameter or size of a conductor play an important role in affecting the voltage drop. That is because conductors with larger sizes will result in less voltage drop compared with smaller diameters of the same length. This also applies if we use more than one cable to decrease the level of voltage drop. In addition, conductor's length can also affect the level of voltage drop. The longer the length of a conductor, the more voltage drop will likely to occur. And finally, the temperature of a conductor can affect the voltage drop level as well. The higher the temperature of a conductor, the higher the resistance, which also mean an increase in the voltage drop. Second main factor that can affect a voltage drop level is the current carried by the conductor. The voltage increases with the increase of the current flowing through the conductor. Lastly, connections in a circuit may have an effect on the level of voltage drop. Obviously, Poor connections, especially when connecting conductors to terminals, contribute to increase the amount of voltage drop. So, how to mitigate or decrease the voltage drop in a system? Well, we can do that by applying different techniques that includes, first, using lower resistive materials of conductors like copper instead of aluminium, increasing the size of a conductor, increasing the number of a conductor, decreasing the conductor's length also will contribute in mitigation of voltage drop level and by reducing the load or current passing through a conductor. Now note that we sometimes cannot apply all these techniques to lower down the voltage drop. That is because we are not always able to shorten the length of a conductor. For example, we also may not be able to decrease the load carried by a conductor only if that is possible according to the project's circumstances. We can say that in most cases we will use lower resistive material of a conductor, like copper for example, and we can increase the size and number of a conductor instead. It all depends on the circumstances, whether I can use this way of decreasing the voltage drop or not. So why we should consider calculating the voltage drop level? First, 
it is loss in the system and considered as an inefficiency. Second, voltage drop can lead to malfunction or poor performance. Third, a higher voltage drop can lead to change in cable sizes, numbers, and lengths that should be considered in the design. And finally, to comply with the international standards and national regulations to meet the permitted allowed percentage of a voltage drop. What is the maximum permitted percentage of voltage drop? Well, according to National Electric Code, or NEC, 5% is the maximum permitted voltage drop from source to branch circuit. It is more clarified in this diagram. It is stated here that a 3% maximum voltage drop from MDB or main DB to SMDB is recommended. Similarly, 3% of voltage drop is permitted from a DB to a branch circuit. It is also stated here below that 5% is the maximum permitted voltage drop combining the feeder and the branch circuit. Additionally, and according to the British standard, a maximum voltage drop of 4% is permitted between the supply terminals to the socket outlet, which is the branch circuit. This means that we are talking about 4 to 5% maximum voltage drop to be considered in our design for calculations. Now let's introduce the formula of calculating a voltage drop. Voltage drop equals millivolt per ampere per meters multiplied by the length multiplied by the current divided by 1000. Then to convert this amount into percentage, we will use this formula which equals voltage drop or the obtained voltage drop divided by the given system voltage multiplied by 100, where MV per A per M is the tabulated value that can be obtained from a cables catalog table. L is the length of the cable in meters, and IB indicates the design current in amperes. Before we look at some examples, let's identify the seven steps of calculating voltage drop. First step is to determine the voltage used for the system and the current, or what is known as the IB. Second is to identify the type and size of cable or cables used. Third is to determine the millivolt per ampere per meter value from the voltage drop table using a cables catalog. Four is to identify the length of the cable or cables. And five, based on the obtained values, we will calculate the voltage drop using the formula that we just had a look on in the previous slide. And sixth step is to convert the voltage drop value into percentage using the formula that we also had a look on previously. And finally, we are going to calculate the voltage drop of cables from source to final branch circuit and add them all together to ensure the total voltage drop value does not exceed the permitted percentage, which is recommended between 3% to a maximum of 